Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. And uh, if you guys are still enjoying the series, I want you to smash the like button. No, I want you to torture the like button relentlessly. Do not let up. Make sure the like button is screaming and suffering in pain. But uh, either way, we're uh, playing more Detroit, and this game is fan freaking tastic. So far, it seems as though a lot of androids are becoming self aware. Now we know they're able to, I guess, reprogram themselves, which seems odd. We saw Kara last episode peel away her uh, little circular LED ring. I'm not sure, and Marcus as a matter of fact, I'm not sure what the significance of that is, but maybe that's like a limiter that the manufacturer put on the androids. It seems as though a lot of androids are becoming self-aware, and I have a feeling there's gonna be a huge um, sources report that Cyberlife has uprising of androids. Police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have Okay, here's Marcus. Now, the question is, does he remember what happened to him? Ah, oh, they're just chilling in the back. He looks super cool now that he has two different colored eyes. Does he remember what happened? Does he decide to take revenge? Who knows? Oh, that's right! The one android in the junkyard, more like a hellhole, told him to find someone. Who was it? I love that coat. This place will be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Who's this Jericho? Check symbol. Okay, it looks like we have some graffiti of some sort. He looks so cool. He looks like a wastelander with that coat. All he needs now is like some type of weird Mad Max shotgun and he'll be set. Oh, what? How perfect. There it is. They missed you. Could you spare some change? You, you want some change from me? Bitch, I don't think so. Your type were inferior. Humans with your flesh and blood, and you guys die all the time for no reason. You know what happens when androids die? It's called a malfunction, and then we fix ourselves. I don't think so. You can rot. <laughs> joking, joking. <clears throat> I'm siding with the androids, man. That's all I'm saying. Okay, what do we have here? Use the right stick, okay, blah, 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 to find symbol in the graffiti. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Uh, analyze symbol. Clue updated. Find this graffiti. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. We also saw from before the android that killed Ortiz. He also seemed to think there was going to be this uh, uprising or someone that's going to save the androids. What was it? AR, A -M -A -A -R I can't remember what the name was, but this is very interesting. I wonder if they have some type of, like, savior almost that's going to help them. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Oh, something over here perhaps? Hello, human. I too am a human. Yes, don't question why I'm saying specifically I'm a human. I just feel good being a human. <laughs> Tech addict. Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Cyberlife develops world's most powerful quantum calculator. Android soldiers, perfect killing machines. Ooh, interesting. Yes, perfect killing machines they are indeed. I'm glad you think so. Asteroid astronauts to explore IO. Interesting, or whatever. Uh, IO? Yeah, IO, what the hell? <laughs> NASA sends Android crew into space. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. What in the hell? Android astronauts to explore, okay. Launched five Android crew to explore IO. I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't know what it's called. I, IO, LO, LO, I have no idea. One of Jupiter's satellites. I should probably know this, right? But I never paid attention to school. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Uh, though not, okay, you know what? I could care less. It's just not interesting enough. I need something gripping. All right, so where's this other piece of graffiti at? Maybe it's down here. We have a map of the subway. All right. Interesting. Exit. Let's go down here. Oh. Does he sense something? Blend in with humans. Well, I am blending in with humans. What do you mean? I look very human. See, I look like I'm all raggedy and ghetto and poor. But how the hell am I going to blend in with humans? Um, 
Shit, you know, I have no idea. Do I not look human enough? Oh, wait a minute, I am so stupid. I forgot, this world is full of racists or people with robophobia. You can't go down the stairs where the androids go, God forbid. You go down the escalator that are meant for fat, lazy humans, duh. How did that not occur to me? Mm-mm-mm, poor androids, they are just treated so badly. All right, <clears throat> let's see now. Oh, I can definitely tell this is the piece of graffiti that we need to look at. Do you know where Jericho is? See, that's so weird, that makes me wonder. It seems like some androids are more aware than others. There's a, a hierarchy of intelligence. Interesting. Does this guy even know what's happening? He's just been programmed to work. He has no soul, no brain, no emotions. Probably can't even speak. All right, we have a fighter here. Oh, that's the same symbol. All right, cool. One more, perhaps? Ah, there we go. Very interesting indeed. Clue updated. We have to find another piece of graffiti. Oh my God. Okay. Really going to get rid of Mandy? Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. I know, honey. Hmm. So I'm not sure exactly how long the androids have been around. I think they said from last episode the android problem started recently, but androids have been a thing for nine years, perhaps? I'm not quite sure. So it seems to me that kids, younger people, are very well, I guess, comfortable and adapted with the whole Android situation. In fact, a lot of them even look up to and care for Androids, but adults that were old enough to buy Androids and um, know they're just a piece of tech don't treat them as real humans. So maybe like the next generation of humans will see Androids as equal to them. But for now, the people in charge, the adults. They don't see it that way. They just see them as tech. Oh, I think that's it. Right? That looks like what I was trying to find, maybe? I wish I could check my, uh, my palm again. This has turned into a scavenger hunt. I have been roaming all around this area and I can't find the freaking graffiti, man! It's evading me! Oh my goodness! You are thick, 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 thick! It's a good thing I'm an android and never need to eat. I would die of laughter though if I uh, if I ran into an android that was fat for no reason whatsoever. Just the android's fat. They built him to be fat. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna take forever. I am not good with puzzles or scavenger hunts, and right now this seems to be sort of both. I can't find the damn graffiti. Have you seen graffiti? Hmm? No, you're not gonna answer me. Okay. Oh, that is very cool. Um, I think there's an artist called maybe Banksy. I can't remember, but he does uh, graffiti like that. Super badass. Oh, shit. Some people are really talented. Okay, we saw that from before. Maybe it's down this way. This could take absolutely forever, so hold, hold up. Oh, 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 hold up. I am so stupid. I passed this multiple times and didn't even notice. There it is. That took forever. I am so blind and so stupid. Okay, that's one. There's gotta be another symbol around here somewhere. Oh, I see you, there you are. You can't hide from me. I've got android eyes, which are better than human. Oh my God, more, more? How is finding this symbol all over the city in random places going to help me achieve anything? Okay, hold up. We have a little robot here. Oh wait, actually, I think I know where this is. I passed it. Wasn't there a, there it is, I knew it. Oh, I've got amazing memory, except for most of the time when it's, you know, really, really, really bad. All right, let's scan that. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I see you. Oh, there we go. And I see the other one hiding here. Nope, never mind. I am stupid. Where's the other one at? Calm down, okay? Just give me a minute. I hear you guys screaming in the comments. Is that not it right there? That looks like it would be it. Seriously, that's not it? Where are you hiding? You can't hide from me forever. I'll find you eventually. Um, wow, this is actually embarrassing. Am I not going to see it? Incredible, wait a minute. Don't, don't, 
Don't tell me I, oh, okay, no wonder I couldn't see it. No, I mean, I did see it, but no wonder he couldn't see it for some reason and scan it. I have to go over here and move this pallet. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my God, I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, that's the same symbol as before. Wow, okay, now that I've got a clear view of it, let's try this again. Oh, actually, hold up, Never mind. we're good. See, I saw it, I'm not completely blind. Oh, brother. All right, we have another symbol to find. I don't see how finding the same symbol over and over again is going to matter much, but oh, that, okay, wow, that, <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. Never mind. I'm gonna stop my bitching. It's literally right here. Somehow this is going to lead us to Jericho. There's one. Okay, come on, game. Don't like, don't make me look stupid. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Uh, find a way to reach the roof. Again, what's the point in being an android if I don't have super? Abilities like why can't I freaking just jump up there? There are basketball players that could jump that high and I'm an android and I can't do it for shame All right, well hold up. Let me see if I can find a way up there. Maybe over here Can I climb this? No Hmm, maybe it's not a parkour game. <laughs> it's definitely not like Assassin's Creed Uh, Perhaps there's a door I can go through Right, maybe Maybe I can scan my surroundings. Do I see anything useful? Oh, hello! What about you? Can I move you? Yes, I can. Okay. I gotta remember, my scanner is actually useful. Here we go. Easy peasy. And I'm just going to climb this by doing the weirdest controller motion. There we go. That's what I like to see. Parkour, baby. All right, there's clearly another symbol right here. And one more, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere over here, right? One, two. Uh, I don't see it hidden anywhere in this weird collage of gears. Oh wait, never mind. I'm stupid. No, that's the one I already scanned. Yeah, I'm really stupid. I was right the first time. Perhaps down here somewhere? No? Interesting. Yeah, it has to be down here. Perhaps I could jump from one side to the other. Nope, that's not going to happen. Am I really missing it? There's no way it's over here. If it is, I'm actually gonna feel embarrassed. Yeah, I, I don't see it. You have got to be kidding me. It's so obvious. It's so freaking obvious. It's right there in my face. It's the negative space. I'm so freaking stupid and blind. It was right there. <laughs> oh my God, enough of this. I'm not in the mood for puzzles and clues. He just came from hell, Marcus did. He's not in the mood for this. Couldn't Jericho have like a calling card or something? Maybe I can like shoot a, a light up in the sky for like, you know, Batman, a bat light. And then Jericho appears, but now that the, you got to do a scavenger hunt to find him. Uh, what do we have here? Use the right stick to select a route. Okay. Well, what type of route do I want to select? All right, it looks like that would not be the best of choices. Um, okay, we can try this. How would this look? Oh, I can preview it. Ooh, would be too unstable. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, I can go here. And then wall run to this. Oh, that's what I like to see. Now that is badass. Let's just compute. And this route is gonna work, so let's execute that move like a friggin' pro, man. Nicely done, Marcus. Done with grace and style. I like to see it. Okay, what's the other one? Uh, huge mural on the side of a building. There it is. Now, don't be tricky like the last one, okay? That, that was embarrassing. I know everyone but me saw it instantly. Okay. So, where's these symbols hidden at? Oh, I see one right up here. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm not even close to pointing at it, but cool. Thank you for making that easy on me. And that one is just blatantly obvious. Thank you so much. Oh my God. 
I mean, I kind of see what's happening here. We're like following a little trail of breadcrumbs all over the place, but still. Reconstruct. Uh, it's not as riveting gameplay as we've had from before. All right, uh, let's see now. What can I do? What can I do? We can try this. Climb up here. Then climb up that. Ah! Oh, and then that breaks and we fall to our death. Well, not death, but who knows what. All right, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try this. We can go over here. Okay, climb up there. Gracefully pull yourself up. We can go over here. Big boy jump. Oh, would be too unstable. I thought that would have been it. Well, maybe that's not what we're supposed to do. Hold up, is there another? I have to go all the way back. Oh, wow, okay. So that entire path isn't gonna work at all. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, that's not gonna work. Any other paths around here? Any other routes we can take? Uh, no, that, that seems to be it. Maybe this one would work, hold up. If we go up here, and can we choose a different place to jump? So this entire path isn't gonna work at all. Interesting. Well, I'm not really sure I see any other uh, options here. I mean, I know they're, they're here, they exist, but... Again, your boy is very clueless. All right, so we can't use that one. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one. Hmm. Hold up. I must admit, though, this would be a very badass ability to have. You could just pre-compute exactly what your actions would outcome. If I take a jump here, what's that going to do? Oh, I break my back? No, I think I'm not going to do that. That would, <laughs> that would come in very handy in life, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, unless I can go choose this path and then change into a different direction. That has to be it. Right? Okay, we're up here. Oh, there we go. See, I knew that was the, uh, the, the key. For some reason, it just didn't seem like it was showing up. All right, there we go. That's how we do it. Would be too high. What do you mean too high? Okay, well, instead of jumping, can I just climb it? There we go, that's a bit more sensible. And compute. Okay. It took me a while, but I got there in the end. Let's execute that move with grace, finesse, style, look as sexy as hell. Check it out. Dang. Hey, someone record this. Your boy's on fire over here. It's gonna go on YouTube or the equivalent thereof in this universe. I'll blow up and be famous. All right. Now, please, is that the end? Oh, no, wait, I forgot. We have to find more clues. Mm. Okay, so clearly it's going to be through here. Yep, right here, right? That looks like the mural. Yeah, this is the mural. Okay, um, I think I see a giant symbol hidden here somewhere. Actually, wait, no, hold up. Is that not it? There's no way there's another mural that looks just like this. Maybe it's over here? Oh, it's looking at the pillars, right? Maybe? Pillars, pillars. No? Oh, there it is. Okay, well that kind of grabs you in the face. Except if you're me, of course, which it doesn't because I'm blind. So I have to perfectly line this up. Right? That, I see the symbol. Just give it to me. Right? Oh my God. This is so annoying. There we go. There. Fantastic. Okay. How long is this going to go on for? <laughs> I mean, I like a good scavenger hunt. Don't get me wrong, but this is a bit too much. Once we meet this Jericho guy, we really need to give him a better way of, uh, well, I don't know, connecting with other androids. There's a thing called the phone. You want to do that? Send encrypted messages online? Crawl through here very slowly and carefully using every single button on my controller. Man, a lot of graffiti. Ooh. Get a nice view from up here. Oh, I just saw the words Jericho. Yep. Well, I'll be damned. Jericho's a building. Oh, no, it's a ship. Follow trail to Jericho. 
Interesting. Maybe it's an entire army of sentient androids. Oh my god. Oh, I did not think that was going to happen. <sighs> Nicely done, game. Love the jump scares. Woo. Yes, I know. I play scary games. Don't get jump scared when scary things happen, but a bridge falling down? Terrifying. Okay. Maybe I can go this way. Looks promising. Let's jump up here. And up. All right. So far, so good. We haven't broken any bones. No damage yet. I'm sure that's going to change, though. Oh my god, can you walk any slower, my man? Seriously. I'm not gonna let up. Androids should be superior to humans when it comes to physical strength and endurance. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful view, though. I can't lie. A very rusty, dilapidated, run-down view, but still a lovely view. Okay, now is this gonna collapse on me? There's no way Marcus weighs anything over 180 pounds, maximum. Okay. Jump. Well, that is water down there, so let's do it. Why not? The leap of faith. The majestic slow motion. Oh, that is so cool. And just like that, he's gone. Whoever this Jericho person is, if it's a person, they really do not want to be found whatsoever. They're making this very difficult. Oh, he lost his coat, did he? No, I actually like that coat. That was really cool. Kind of made him look like a wastelander. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, this place looks very sinister. Yeah. And hostile. Examine. Pick up. What is that? Oh, it's a flashlight. Okay, just shake my controller. There we go. Whew, this game's trying to get me to work out. I see how it is. You think I'm fat, huh? Hello? Is there anyone here by the name of Jericho? I'm a robot. I mean, android, because that's definitely different than a robot. I want to uh, create a revolution, an uprising. Humans have had the earth for far too long. Yeah, let's take over. I mean, shit, we can download the internet with our brains in half a second. We're superior to humans. I'm including myself in that. I can Google anything at any time. It makes me much smarter than the average person. Let's open that up. Seriously? You are very much like a human, Marcus. What is that? That is pathetic, that is weak. Where's the strength at? He just went, <laughs> like that, little, little baby twist. I mean, come on, where's the muscles? Oh no, I can't open it. I'm an android that's supposed to be super strong, but ah, oh, no. I'm joking, no one ever said androids have to be super strong. I just think they should be. I got jump scared so bad, I couldn't even make a sound. No, that, that scream you heard, that was me, from my soul. What the hell was that? Is there a witch in here? Uh, hello? Where did you come from? Oh, hell no. I may be an android, but I'm still scared of witches and wizards and monsters, and demons and the boogeyman, all the above, man. I'm scared of it all. Okay. We're all good. I am not excited to meet that screaming entity that <laughs> went running across the hallway. All right, let's open this up. Knock, knock, hello? Anyone home? All right, seems relatively safe so far. Nothing's trying to stab me. I don't know why I'm tense right now. I mean, there's nothing to be scared of. Except maybe the entire ship. It's amazing, it's just falling apart. Oh! Oh, that would 
hurt if you were programmed to feel pain. What is this shit made of? You're telling me solid steel just falls apart like cheap rotting wood, seriously? I come in peace. I am one of you. We what? Welcome to Jericho. There is no way that's the same android from before. At the beginning of the game, the guy that got sniped to death? No. See, the one question I have is, if they have certain models, right? Like, uh, what was it called before? The MK or MV4000? Does each individual android get its own unique face? Or can there be like, actually, no, wait, that's a stupid question. We've already seen androids that have the same face, like the, the, the cops from the, uh, the police station. There were two cops that looked identical. So it's kind of weird to me that there's some androids that get unique faces and then others are just copy and paste faces. Interesting. Okay. I did not see that coming. There's no way that's the same guy from the beginning of the game. There's no way. He got decimated. Oh, look at that. Another beautiful day in paradise with my old pal, cop buddy, stick up the butt, Anderson. Hank, stick up the butt, Anderson, excuse me. I think his last name's Anderson, right? Oh, brother. I have to go make him feel happy? That's kind of impossible. He hates, hates, hates androids for some unknown reason. But you guys have told me it's very important, who's this guy, to uh, make Listen, Hank happy. So I'm guessing he's one of those characters that even though in the beginning he seems rough and mean, he might actually have a good soul. So I'm gonna try my best to make him happy. Chicken feed, wow, what a name. Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's 100% guaranteed, you can't go wrong. Who's this guy? Oh, I can scan his face, okay. Uh, what do we have here? Pedro Abdar, definitely said that name wrong. He's born in 2005, damn, he's old. That's weird though. Can you imagine someday 2005 will be a long time ago. <laughs> Unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling and fraud. Oh, oh no, Hank, 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 Hank. No, he's trying to make a bet, he's gambling. Oh, you naughty boy, you. Hank, stick up the butt, Anderson, I got it right. Born in 1985, police lieutenant, criminal record none. I would hope not. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hmm. Hey, you won't regret this. He really hates what is Connor. Your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Never. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I like humans. Uh, apologize for behavior. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. It worked! Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? So, what did you order? I can even scan the food? What did he get? Hamburger. Oh, 1,680 calories? Oh, Hank, my man. 53 grams of carbs, salt, 2.2 grams. Oh, your cholesterol is gonna be off the charts. What do we have here? Extra large soda. What? Seven, what is that? Am I reading that right? 710,000 calories? That can't be right. Kilocalories, I don't know what that means. Point is, that's a lot of calories, right? Oh, that has to be a joke. 184 grams of sugar, carbonated pineapple passion. There is no way I'm reading that right. That must mean something different. 710 K calories, I have no idea. That must be a lot of calories though. Joe. Jesus. Oh, thanks Gary, I'm starting. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance, follows me everywhere. I am like a poodle. Wow, what a pleasant day. Cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. <laughs> oh, no way. That's
And he's not even mad about that? Damn. You cannot resist my charm. You can't. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. He's warming up. Okay. Let's ask about the androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Okay, I would like to know what the reasons are, but cool. Let's uh, talk about deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't have the dangly bits down below that you have, but yeah, basically. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. What? You ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah? Does he, he... he should be dead, right? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. Including the food you're putting in your stomach. Yep. Uh, truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. Far too much time. So what's your conclusion? Ooh. Uh, psychological. Let's do a little lying and brown nosing. I know you're an experienced officer, and I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna bite? Yes! Oh, I'm good at this! I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. You wait, Hank! You wait! We're gonna be best freaking friends before this is over. Cops, buddy cops. It's gonna happen. You cannot resist Connor's charm, his fantastic glowing hey, skin, Connor. and the hair, and the voice. You just can't. Batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Huh. <laughs> Awkward. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, then. Question the suspect. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. <whistles> Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Oh, indubitably. What do we have here? Feathers. Columbia, Rock Pigeon. Were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Ah, you've got the fever. See, I told you. Once you uh, spend a lot of time around androids, you just realize how freaking cool it is being an android. I mean, if, if you could somehow be an android and also taste things and do things with your dangly bits, then it would be the ultimate experience. Download anything you need off the internet. It's really cool. This place is a dump. Jesus. Guess I'll knock harder. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Oh! Stay behind me. Got it. There's definitely someone in there. Now that's how you open a door. Okay, I don't see anyone. What in the hell is this? 
question the suspect. Okay, maybe that's nothing. Actually, hold up, we got something over here. Detroit Today, red ice epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. Okay, just more basic backstory to the game. Again, this is what I appreciate so much about the game. They've really given you a lot to play with here. Not just the main story, but little pieces of information scattered around the game to make it feel more alive. And I wanna throw up. No, I'm joking, I need a burp. Oh. Uh, the synthetic stimulant, informally known as red ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. I don't know why I'm reading so bad right now, but it's honestly embarrassing. Um, what do we have here? Carter has drawn the same link, androids, cyber life. Okay, so basically people are using this drug because androids have taken over so much of their jobs. So they've resorted to drug use. That seems to be the case. Everyone uses drugs, right? What the fuck is this? Oh, there's a lot of patterns all over the place. Jesus, this place stinks. A lot of pigeons, too. Well, looks like we came for nothing. No, 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 gone. hold up. This is very interesting. If this is a glitch in his software, or her software, what does it mean? They've drawn these patterns all over the walls. All right, can I scan anything? What do we have here? Maybe someone hiding? Nope, just more pigeons. Okay, definitely nothing in there but pigeons. How did they get in there, by the way? <laughs> Maybe the cracks in between? I don't know. What do we have over here? Analyze. Okay. Urban farm poster. Well, really? That's it? Fields in the heart of the city. 265 Acre Avenue, Detroit. Okay, interesting. Not that I care, but any other clues? Oh, we've got something in the corner. Processing, poster corner, 100% recycled paper, recently moved. Interesting, okay, I was about to say, who cares if it's recycled, but maybe this leads somewhere. Ah, something hidden behind the walls. It's an actual book? Haven't seen one of those yet, in real life and the game. <laughs> Look at those complex patterns, what is that? Very interesting Found indeed. Something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, wow, we have a lot of stuff to analyze in here. What is that? Suspect cares for wild animals. Interesting. See, he, uh, Connor says that it's just a glitch in their software that makes them act like this, but every time we've seen so far that androids have changed. RT, probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Yeah, see, that's what I was about to say. Every time these androids, I wanna say break, crack through their code, their limitations, they develop a sense of I, like a reason to exist, or they understand they have a greater purpose in life, for example, this android clearly cares about animals. So, it's not just a glitch in the software, they really have become- ah, Jesus, I hate these things. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Oh, this man's got a short fuse. They really almost become human in that respect. They have a sense of purpose, a sense of I, me. I feel things, I do this because I want to do it. Or I have a responsibility to take care of animals and whatnot, which is what we see with Kara. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. And then we've got this. Electronic books you keep. That's the same scribbling we saw in the bathroom. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Maybe it's instructions on how to crack their own coding limit to become, you know, self-aware. I, I mean, I guess they're already self-aware at this point, but I don't know, that's weird. I doubt there's a 
an entity out there, another android or something called RA9, right? It's a very weird name. Or maybe it's a model of an android. Ooh, interesting. Maybe. Oh, there he goes, licking samples again. <laughs> Blue blood. Okay, model WB2000 or 200. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. And he took out his chip. I'm gonna call it a chip. I, oh, here we go. LED, bio component. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. See, what's the significance of them taking out their LED like that? Is it a, uh, a limiter or is it just, I guess, something that's uh, a symbol so people can see that they are an android and in some way it shows their processing because it's constantly changing colors. Okay, open marker pin, still wet, used recently. Color, midnight mood, black. Hmm. Okay. Wooden stool, recently disturbed, traces of avian fecal matter? What the hell does that mean? Oh, he was scribbling on the wall, RA9. Suspect was here recently. That's a lot of times to scribble RA9 on the wall. Definitely something a madman would do. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay. Man, if I could do this in real life, I would be so happy. I mean, I suppose being able to reconstruct something after the fact really doesn't help much. It's not very useful, but it'd still be kind of a cool thing to uh, be able to do. All right, find cause of loud noise. Got something over here, a door. Anything in here? Oh, it's a card. It's a driver's license. Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool, at least we didn't come for nothing. See, that's so cool. The fact he just knows instantly that it's fake because he was able to access the database. That is freaking badass. Okay, it's a bird cage. Skid mark, recent. 19.6 inches, traces of galvanized steel. Oh, are those fingerprints? Finger marks, recent, traces of avian fecal matter. See, what the hell is avian fecal matter? No fingerprints? Does that mean fecal matter from these birds in here? Because that is disgusting. That is not human-like at all, being covered in fecal matter. Androids, you need to work on your, uh, your human-like game. Come on now, we're trying to be like humans. Reconstruct. Okay. This was hanging up here. Uh, suspect ran toward entrance. All right. Somehow he really freaking knocked this thing over hard. It was hanging from a, I'm, I'm guessing some type of metal hook, right? Damn, he punched that thing. So he ran towards the door. Okay, suspect heard us enter. He tripped. Oh, hold up. Suspect is still here. All right. That's not at all creepy that someone could uh, just scan an environment and know exactly what happened. No, not scary at all. If technology like this exists in the future, I am going to have my brain removed and put in an Android body because androids will take over the world. Oh, there he is. Goddamn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it. Oh, you actually want me to work with you for once? All right, shit, damn, I'll do it. Jump over that, there we go. Bash through the door. Oh, here we go, parkour, baby. Now, Connor's the most advanced model, so surely he's faster and stronger than all the other androids. Uh, fast but risky. Uh, easy but slow. Let's go the slow route. Let's do everything perfect. Mm, I am not gonna fail my job. Uh, safer detour, balanced. Let's go safer. Oh! Jump up here. There we go. Damn, this place is cool. Safer detour. Let's go through here. Don't mind me, androids just passing through. Really? That's so pointless. I did not have to jump that, but I did it anyway just to look cool. Hey, where are you going, buddy? I'm just like you. Let's talk about this. RA9, what does it mean? What do the numbers mean? Damn. Oh, man, I want to stop and look at all of this. This is super cool. Oh, come on. 
Don't tell me there's another way I could have gone. There was. I'm so dumb. I definitely wasted some time. Oh, where are you going, man? I still see you. Uh, fat, but, uh, fast, fat, <laughs> fast, but risky safe detour. Uh, let's go safe. I'm all about doing things safe. Climb up here. Come on, Connor. Where's the speed? Where's the speed, my man? Oh, where are you going? Mm. Slide down here. Oh, 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 oh. Let's definitely not die today. Mm. This guy has got some speed. Holy crap. Holy shit. Yeah, what's up, Hank? You actually glad that I'm your uh, sidekick now, huh? Could you do this? I don't think so. This is all Android stuff right here. Badass parkour. Running with super speed. Climbing buildings. Mm. Man, this guy can book it. I gotta say though, this is a freaking awesome chase. Uh, all right, direct but crowded. Safe but slow, let's go safe but slow. Oh no, I missed that. No, I got it, Never mind. okay. Or maybe I missed it, the game just gave it to me because I know, or he knows I'm terrible at gaming. Uh, what do we have here? Let's go through here. Woo! There we go. Out of the way, Android. Oh wait, what did, oh no, where did, oh, through here. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Where, where'd it go? Did I lose I it? it? Oh shit, shit, fuck, we had it. We, we. All right. It's all right, doesn't matter. We know what it looks like, it won't get far. Come on, let's get out of here. I've seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. Welcome to the club. Mm. That was all on me. I could have got him, but I was just really bad with the controls. The nest, 58% completed. A lot of different paths you could have taken. Rupert got away, so that was his name. I didn't exactly get a good look at the driver's license. You have to actually hold down the key on your controller, otherwise it just instantly goes away. That is really annoying. I must say though, I'm glad that for once, Hank is actually getting comfortable with Connor being around. It took a lot of work, but we got there in the end. Okay, now what's happening here? This is intriguing. Are they all androids? Who are you? Fugitives, just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Oh. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Free? And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Uh, lost? I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Oh, I'm sensing an uprising. You can stay with us as long as you want. Oh, this going is so cool. Easy. She might be able to help you. Well, where are you going? Hold up, come here, android lady. Damn, all right. Someone was generous with the uh, controls when they were creating her, I'll tell you what. Settle in, find Lucy. We can do a little exploring. Interesting, okay. Yeah, there is definitely going to be an uprising. That's exactly what's going to happen. I know you guys know the end of the game and everything that's happened, but I'm just completely clueless right now. I have no idea what's happening. See, I feel like in real life, if, um, 
this, let's say that something like this did happen and androids became aware and they had the same level of intelligence and a moral compass and an understanding of uh, self and whatnot, just like humans do, I would be blown away by that. I feel like a lot of people would be fascinated by the fact that they basically created life, right? They gave life existence by creating an android and giving it artificial intelligence. But then again, I don't know, there's a lot of people out there that would probably hate androids with a passion. I would fully support it and think it would be super freaking cool. Then I'd get really jealous and want to be one. Uh, time here. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Uh, wounded. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Why though? They created androids in the first place. Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Well, I mean, we can comfort each other. What's up? Why does this place have to be so damn gloomy? Yo, turn the lights on! What the hell, people? Excuse me. Androids? All right, let's get some fires lit in here. Make this place less gloomy. That, that is so freaking creepy. They're just standing there like this, like, come on, guys, cheer up. I mean, I know we can't do fun things like eat food and enjoy music, but still, you know, at least we're not getting beaten every day. They can experience psychological pain. Uh, crate already emptied. Hmm. What the hell is this? Cyber life. Cyber life wa warehouse and docks. Why does it disappear so quickly? I'm holding my uh, button in. Calculating route. Okay, explore Jericho. We have to find Lucy now. Let's go on and get another fire lit. Try and make this place feel homey. I don't know why he has a lighter in his pocket. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Maybe androids can smoke. Is that a kid? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. There are android They'll kids? They'll shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Well, that's not very good. Th this is blowing my mind. They created not only just androids, but android children? Something about that seems kind of macabre, including the, the random foot that's just sitting over there. What is that music? Who's singing? Do you guys not know any chipper, uplifting, happy, soulful music of any kind? No? Nothing? Can you, like, sing something from, you know, I don't know, a Beyonce song? Anything? I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Do you know what happens after death? Yes, you're dead. No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Well, that's sad. And that's also really, really freaking creepy.
Definitely different than dying as a human. Mm-hmm. Although, can we really say you're dead? Because all we have to do is just go find some spare components and blue blood and you'll be back online, right? That's how that works. All right, well then. Now, who's Lucy and where can I find her? Lucy, Lucy, we have something over here to explore. Random bottom part of a body here, just some legs chilling. Guys, come on. Get up, dance a little bit or something. I'm joking, they're all dying. Why would you dance when you're dying? I'm not in very good shape, am I? Ah, you look fine. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. Mm. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. It's amazing, Marcus is in incredibly good shape. Like, I don't see any tears or anything. I'm guessing they can generate their own skin, for lack of a better word, if they have enough blue blood. Because I'm not really seeing, I mean, he had a huge hole in the side of his head, first of all, and I'm not seeing any damage on him. So I'm guessing if they have, you know, blue blood and the parts they need, they can uh, regenerate their skin and heal, perhaps. Okay, uh, I can go talk to someone over here. Are you Lucy? You have to be Lucy. Hello. Lovely place you have here. Not at all depressing. Are you Lucy? Whoa! Hello. You're scary and freaky. Oh my God, fix your it's head. Done. That is not normal. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. Please don't eat my face. Show me. Show you my arm? Okay, just don't eat it. No, hold up. Oh, that's not good. I'll stop the bleeding. Okay, he can feel no pain. Cool. Drink this. Can you put the top of your head back on, please? Like, it, it is very unnerving to look at. And what is up with your eyes? <laughs> All right, let's drink this blue liquid up. There we go. Delicious Gatorade. Mmm. Android Gatorade. That is so bizarre. Give me your hand. Like, my whole hand? You, you, you want it for some weird experiment or you just want to shake my hand? Okay, thank God. You had it all, and you lost it all. Oh. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Well, that, uh, that says a lot. So I'm guessing we're going to have an option at some point to either create a, uh, an uprising for these androids to free them from essentially slavery or to find a way for Marcus to get back to Carl, right? I mean, I think ultimately the point of this game is you're supposed to have an uprising 
and, you know, take over. Because so far, it seems like most humans are complete garbage. That is so freaking weird. You're just frozen, dead. Or maybe there's a way in the game for um, the characters to really convey that they are, even though they're androids, they have feelings and emotions just like people. And then, who knows, everyone changes and accepts them, which I seriously doubt that's the case. So, uh, you just do this all day? Bounce a tennis ball back and forth? Yep, looks like a lot of fun. Okay. We can talk to this guy. Now, are you the same guy from before? There's no way, because you got lit up by a sniper and fell to your death. Last I remember. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. Oh. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Oh! Okay, we just built a little army. Okay, this is really interesting. I have a feeling what's happening here is that obviously Marcus has joined Jericho. Jericho is gonna grow larger and larger and it, inevitably they're going to create an uprising to take over because most androids are treated so poorly. Every android in fact we've seen is treated like scum. That's what I think. If you've played the game, you're probably like, ooh, nah, you don't really know what's happening. I'm just guessing from what I've seen. What I wonder though is, being that so many androids feel inferior and treated badly by humans, how is this going to play out when someone like Connor's on the scene, working for the establishment, trying to hunt down these deviants? Is he going to ultimately be like the, the final, uh, I guess, boss to go through by these androids? Other androids like Connor? Or is he going to turn over to the other androids that are protesting like Jericho? I have no idea. What I do know, though, is this game is fantastic. The story is gripping and amazing, and I can't wait to find out what'll happen in the next video. But yeah, I'm going to have to leave it off there. If you guys are still enjoying the series, smash the like button. I'll get a video up as soon as possible. And uh, peace out.